Hello. Here we are on day two of the lockdown in Palma de Mallorca, and I am Paul Ke Lord Paul Kepe. You're not a lord. I am. Shut up. You're not. Well, you're not. Real werewolf, are you? Bloody cheek. I, 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 behave. Behave. Oh, it's so amateurish. <laughs> yes. Um, don't. You're not allowed to do that now because of corona thing. Anyway, so today I'm supposed to be uh, doing a little demo on, and today it's going to be, I'm going to try and draw Charlton Heston. Who's a Charlton Heston, you know, Ben-Hur, Planet of the Apes, never heard of him. Look, why don't you look him up on Google? Oh, come on, why not? I ain't got the arms. Oh, yeah. Okay, anyway, I'm going to be drawing Charlton Heston mainly because I watched one of his films last night and it was very good. Rubbish. No, it was very good. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a, a pencil drawing of Charlton Heston. That's the plan. All right? Back off. Ah. <laughs> Sorry about the language. Okay, for the benefit of my fluffy, fluffy friend and anybody out there who doesn't know who he is, this is Charlton Heston. Star of a great many films. He was in about 100 films. Uh, notably, most famous for Ben Hur, um, The Planets of the Apes. Uh, he was in the first two. Uh, he only agreed to do the second one if they agreed to kill him off, which they did. Um, he was in one of my favourite films ever, which is Touch of Evil, uh, written, directed, and starring uh, Orson Welles. And uh, he was also in a, a trilogy of science fiction films. Planet of the Apes, followed by um, uh, The Omega Man, and a film I watched last night, Silent Green, which is really good. Anyway, so we've got to uh, start to start working. So. Right, first, uh, in order, I'm just going to do a pencil sketch. I'm going to keep it really simple, HB pencil pad of paper. This is watercolour paper, which is a bit nicer, but anyway, any paper would do. So basically what we're doing today is looking at form and shape. So, looking at Charlton's head, uh, his shape of his head, it's kind of rectangular, really. He's definitely looking at his features. He's got a nice, lovely quiff. I'm very jealous of that. Very jealous of that. Um, he's got a fantastic nose. It's very biblical, his nose. <laughs> If you can have a biblical nose. Uh, he's got a very pronounced lower lip and upper lip and a chin that sticks out. He's very good looking in a kind of biblical way. Um, or something like that. Anyway, uh, I will draw his hands as well. A lot of artists hate drawing hands, but I like drawing hands. Hands for a cartoonist are very expressive. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to start. So, there you go. Oh! God, technology. Right, so he's... Uh, where can I keep this? I can hold it here, maybe. And see if I can... Yeah, all right. Okay, so just lightly tipping in. And this is not going to be a caricature. I'm going to attempt a straight portrait of the man. So for the first thing you have to get is, is the shapes and the features in the right position. So, oh, he's got very hairy eyebrows, hasn't he? Um, right, and quite hooded eyes. And then his, uh, his great magnificent nose sort of comes out very much like that, really. Yeah, um, yeah, okay. Uh, those cheekbones, high cheekbones, biblical cheekbones. Everything is biblical about him, isn't it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, apart from his defense of everybody owning guns when he was president of the NRA for five years, apparently. Anyway, uh, we'll draw, draw a discreet veil over that. He made a lot of really good films. So he's... His upper lip is fairly thick, uh, and he did have strangely pronounced two front teeth, which you notice when you're watching his films. Um, doesn't show so much in this shot, but um, all right, bit of a cheek, big square chin, and uh, sort of that line up there. Collar, oh, goes into darkness there. His hands now, should I draw his hands? Well, I'll have a go. Uh, so, um, 
right. I don't know why people hate drawing hands, because I like drawing hands. They're a great shape to play around with here. I've had lots of fun with hands, and I've had lots of fun with my hands as well. Don't you know? Uh, okay, so it's roughly like that. Um, good. Uh, it's a bit hard to talk and draw at the same time, anyway, but... Uh, oh, I haven't got his ear in, have I? Did I do? Oh, yeah. Put it in, but it's way too high, I think. So there's his... I mean, it's fairly high, isn't it? It's sort of there, up on his head. Something wrong. Cheap, uh, the, the back of his neck is higher. Yeah, okay. Looks wrong, but still. All right, so now I'm going to... I'm going to shut up a bit and just concentrate on the the drawing, which I may speed up later. Okay, here we go. Oh dear, I've made him look a bit cross-eyed. Uh, something a bit wrong. Um, I think his forehead's too small. Anyway, uh, this is just a demo. So really what I should do is rub out his forehead and that eye and uh, see if I can improve it. Um, okay, carry on. Okay, that's a bit better. It's not the best drawing I've ever done, but then... What is? Um, so, uh, all right. So basically, um, I hope you might have learned something from that if you're learning to be uh, a drawer or just want to do it for fun during our mutual lockdowns. Uh, just find um, a face that you find interesting enough to draw and um, you know, just have a go at it. Uh, don't be afraid to rub stuff out or even chuck it away to start again uh, we've all done it even professional artists you know I quite often have to do a job over because uh, I'm not at all pleased with it it just hasn't gone well sometimes it doesn't it's uh, you know you can't predict it some it's like when you go to a drawing class I go to many life drawing classes and um, you know you might have a good week you might have a bad week and it doesn't have any bearing on how you're feeling personally it's just it seems to go its own way. So sometimes you, the first drawing you do can be the best of the whole evening and sometimes the last and sometimes the middle one and sometimes none at all, you know, or they might all be genius. It's, it's totally unpredictable. So don't uh, be too critical about yourself is what I'm saying and don't be too hard on yourself if it's not going well. You know, it happens to the best of us. Um, anyway, so that's a little rough scribble of Chuck. Um... I might add a bit of uh, grey watercolour just to uh, enhance it a bit because tone tone can really help. Uh, is he here? Is Tone here? No, he's not home. All right, never mind. Um, 
Okay, so, uh, and now, because today would have been the opening of my exhibition here in Palma, but because of the corona bloody virus, it's been cancelled. But I have a special guest who will show you what you would have seen if you'd been able to attend my exhibition. Here she is. Anyway, uh, I'll try and do another one tomorrow and uh, give me any comments or suggestions you may have. Hope it's helpful. Love you all. Bye.